Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope everything is good with you. <laughs> I'm coming to you with a new video on how I make a simple pixie wig using 27 pieces and don't worry all the information will be in the description bar. So right here I'm showing you guys that there are three different lengths that comes in the packaging. We're starting off with the two inches because we want it to be long enough to cover our grannies in the back. In other words, it would be long enough so our own hair wouldn't be showing in the nape area. Good? Alright guys, so me cutting the hair in strips, it's nothing special. I just work a bit faster that way. So what I usually do is apply the glue onto the strips, set them aside for around like a minute or so, just for the glue to get a bit sticky or tacky. And then I start applying them to the wig cap. That way, in my opinion, the glue kind of sticks better. Now I'm start applying the hair, I'm going to place around six strips at the back because I do not want it to look thin. That way, everything will be covered. Nobody's gotta know I like when you're aggressive Bring it closer, I'ma go Let me take you to a dark place Freezing up your heart Wait, I'll be a little secret if you Okay, so that little red line that you guys are seeing, I put it there for the sake of the video just to indicate where my sideburns are going to be. You want to place them in front of the air so that way it looks nicer and of course you're going to need sideburns for this particular style. So um, if you have a mannequin head like this one, you want to always place the hair in front of the air. After all of that, we're going to start going in with our 1 inch hair, continue with the 2 inches and then finish off the wig with the 3 inches. Just keep on watching and you guys will see everything. Guys, I'm so sorry if the video is all speedy, but I had to speed it up unless it would be a super duper long video. So hopefully this is not a problem and you guys catch on to everything. Oftentimes I get asked how do I know the wig will fit the person's head or my head. I already know it's going to fit my head because I've done it a million times. But if I'm doing it for a client and the person have a bigger head, what I would do is pull it closer to the eye of the foam head and then that way it will fit. If the person have a smaller head, I will pull it closer to the hairline. Not quite, but just a little past the hairline.
mouth to mouth, I breathe you in Swallow down your jacket sin Let it drown inside my veins The sweetest poison I could take You make it an art The way that you scar with every word But before we 